All right, most of you know that I teach contractors, you know, how to pass their exam. Now, the business and finance is what I did today, you know, income statements, balance sheets, percent of completion, uh, you know, calculation, payroll taxes, uh, you know, allocation of equipment costs and overhead, uh, profits, you know. You know, and it, it's an all-day class. I mean, it does start at 8 in the morning and at 5 in the evening. And they have a six-and-a-half-hour examination. And uh, But most contractors don't understand the business end of contracting. They understand the technical end on how to, you know, install an AC unit or how to put a roof on or how to build a house. You know, that they're okay with. But it's the, you know, managing of the monies and everything that they get a little confused about. Um, typically because we have accountants and, you know, bookkeepers and, you know, everyone that does that for us. So, anyway... Um, Talked the whole day today, so it was a great class, uh, you know, good business and finance class. Thumbs up. You make me feel so good. All right, another one, a place I would like to be the most. Either back home in Kentucky, if... They, the, their meaning want to live. Um, love to be able to move back there someday and actually be able to afford to do that. And Key West. Key West is a nice little town. It's it's local, and I think I could really get used to it. Uh, you know, that's just me. And you know, if you give me anywhere in the world, uh, but I'd like to go out west too. Uh, we, we saw some great scenery out west. Uh, Wyoming was a nice state. Colorado was a nice state. Um, even, I didn't think South Dakota was that bad. I mean, it's a lot of barren, but it wasn't that bad. So, anyway, you know, if you had a choice and you're asking me anywhere I want to live, uh, um, maybe I could live in a few different places. Maybe have a winter home and a summer home. You know, uh, winter down in Key West and, um, you know, up north for the summer. Hey, if you get a choice, you know, make the best of it. Hey, I was asked a question, what's the best hour of the day? Well, I'm assuming you're talking about a work day, um, and you don't want me to say lunch, you know. So, from 2 to 3. Now, from 2 to 3 is a good time because it's after lunch, you know, and a get a lot done and and then you know when three o'clock hits I know that there's only a couple more hours to finish up and then I get to go home so I would say two to three is my best time of the day as far as working hour goes um, my personal time I guess at home would be from maybe nine to ten you know, so before I go to bed, uh, you know how you, you know, kick back and relax and try to chill out and wind down for the day. Um, look at everything you need to be looking at and so on. So there I would say 9 to 10. So working time, it's 2 to 3. Home, it's from 9 to 10. That's, yeah, you need it to be more exact, you know, about what's your best time during the day. Now, if it's just the best time, it's 9 to 10. Um, winding down for the day, getting ready to go to bed, you know, getting everything ordered, or in order, I guess, not ordered, well, I do order a lot from Amazon, but not that much, so, anyway, that's only my opinion, who am I, but that's the best time of day, there you go, one more, um, and again, this is just a random question, the, the question was simply, what is something you'd never forget? Well, I remember I was maybe 14, 15, and we're, me and my buddy Farrell and Sonny and Danny, we were standing around, and Farrell had this little mini bike, and he was buzzing around, you know, and stopped, and Danny jumps on it and takes off. No, it was Farrell. Danny was standing next to me. Farrell was riding around showing off on it, you know, which, it was a cool little bike, and, um, he came around this corner, and 
And of course, I'm sitting out, you know, talking to Danny, going, Danny, this has happened before. He he's going to wreck right here, you know. He's going to it's going to slide out from under him. And Danny looks at me and he says, "Holy shit, you know, same thing." He goes, "I've seen this before," and it was deja vu for two of us at the same time. I mean, it was freaky as hell. And sure enough, I mean, he'd come around there, slid exactly like I knew he was. I mean, and this wasn't just a couple of seconds. I mean, he was coming around the building, so we had a few seconds. We had enough seconds to talk about it real quick. So it wasn't anything at the last moment, you know. We, we saw it, then we, uh, you know, in our minds we saw it again or something real quick. It wasn't like that. It was, you know, we talked about it and it happened, you know, and both of us are looking at each other like, I've seen this before. It, this is a repeat in time or history, you know. This is what's going to happen. So that sort of freaked me out a little bit. So that's something I'll never forget. Just one of the things. Sitting there looking at the bench. Uh, another thing, one of my pet peeves is uh, people wanting to make out in public. You know, let me kiss all over you and hug you and I love you, baby. Listen, if you're going to give us a porn show, I want to see porn. I mean, hardcore porn. Don't uh, so don't sit around in public and lovey dovey all over everybody. <laughs>